people will change what they think of us and me when we win games. That's, I'm, you know, I'm a realist when it comes to that. And I get it. And you know what, when you don't win, I expect what's written and said and what people think. I expect fans to be upset, because we are too. Pat Shermer in the aftermath of his latest loss, eight in a row. He's seven and 21 through 28 games. Ben McAdoo got fired for being 13 and 15 through 28 regular season games. And he took the team to the playoffs for crying out loud. So there's a lot of questions about Pat Shermer's future as head coach of the New York Giants. Some answers yesterday from Steve Tisch, co-owner of the team. We never hear from him. We always hear from John Mara. Here's Steve Tisch at a March of Dimes event on Tuesday talking about the future of the franchise the direction we take the team hopefully in 2020 will result in a much better season next year do you think Gettleman and Shermer are the guys that can lead you those decisions aren't going to be made today so respectfully I'm going to wait till after the season and start those conversations with my partner so uh, the only thing we know now is we're not going to see Pat Shermer or Dave Gettleman get fired during the season, but it sounds like everything's on the table, guys, when the season ends. And we touched on this earlier about the possibility of Ron Rivera ending up with the Giants. But uh, regardless of who the next coach is, it's looking like, Peter, it's not going to be Pat Shermer. You know, we'll see. I think that's why uh, the one thing I learned, I covered the Giants for four years in the 80s. And the one thing I did learn is that the paying customers were very, very important to the Mara family. What I mean is that uh, you might think right now that these are meaningless games. John Mara does not think these are meaningless games. The fans in the stands will tell him whether there are any, uh, number one, and their tenor. Uh, I think right now, if I were to guess, the Giants would be inclined to make a change. I mean, Pat Shermer won nine games in two years coaching the Cleveland Browns back in their, you know, sewer days. Uh, and now, right now, he's won seven games in two years with his hand-picked quarterback of the future playing this year on an eight-game losing streak and looking worse, you know, I, I shouldn't say looking worse every week, but, you know, he is not, Daniel Jones has not made the progress he should have made. So I think the biggest question for the Giants, you know, I think they got three questions. Do we give this team one more year as it's currently constituted with Dave Gettleman and, and Pat Shermer? And I think, and then the other two, do you change one or do you change the other? And I think the last four weeks of the season, you might laugh at me for saying this, but I think they these last four games are a factor collectively in what happens and what decision the Giants are going to make. Yeah, it's it's interesting. And, you know, I think if you you made me bet right now, I'm I'm saying Pat Shermer's not there and Dave Gettleman's not there either. I, I just – that would be my gut feeling on the situation. I mean, hey, the product on the field hasn't been good. Pat Shermer, he does not endear himself to the New York media or the fan base here in the tri-state area, so they're not in love with him there. Dave Gettleman certainly made a lot of questionable moves as far as free agency, you know, draft. There's been some good, but there's been some – horrible I mean Daniel Jones yeah I think he he hit it out of the park I was wrong about my evaluation I think he's the guy but into that too where it goes back to Pat Shermer I mean the game's on Daniel Jones shoulders every week like he's like John Elway in 1989 it's a, every week if he doesn't pull out magic and four rabbits out of his butt they can't win a game so that's not fair what they do to him uh, but I think there's issues all over the organization as a Giants fan uh, and just the, my friends that are Giants fans I think everybody's frustrated and I, I you know I guess I, what I'm saying is I would clean house and start over and start a new regime there in New York. We should have known this wasn't going to go well with Pat Shermer. When he was being considered for head coaching jobs after a great run as the Vikings offensive coordinator, his boss in Cleveland, Mike Holmgren, said that he needs to lighten up. Now, if Mike Holmgren is telling you you need to lighten up, you're probably a little too intense. And that seems to be one of the things dragging down Shermer. Here's the other thing, guys. If you get a new GM and a new head coach, who's to say they're going to want Daniel Jones? They may have had a very different evaluation of Jones and may want to find a different quarterback, which kind of screws everything up, Peter. 
I doubt that'll happen. I, I'm, I'm sure that they're not going to want to start from ground zero again. They're going to want to hire somebody, if they do make a change, who believes in Daniel Jones. Yeah. I think if you don't believe in Daniel Jones, you're probably not going to get the second interview. That, I, I, that's where I go, too. And I do think, Mike, even if you didn't love him in the college process, they're going to watch the NFL film this year and go, man, it was pretty damn impressive. I mean, let's not, you know, a lot of people out there can't even name some of the receivers he's played with this year. They haven't been able to run the ball. They can't protect. So I'm with Peter. I think it'll be about liking him and, and, and making him flourish. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.